Okay, so if you want to take a look here at your Canvas page, which is uh, for Math 14, Section 50 and 51, they are both the same here. If you look at the home page, here are your um, uh, modules. The first one is the landing page, and then this one is getting started. Um, it shows the introduction, the attendance information, the course structure, course content, the instructor contact information. If you want to click on that, you will be able to see that you have my information on there. It has um, my email address, my student office hours for the week, uh, for each week for the summer session. And then right below that, it says, please download in the Zoom instructions here. So if you need uh, Zoom instructions, um, you can go ahead and download that. Um, and then here's the meeting ID that you need to um, click on whenever you have that downloaded so that you can access your student office hours during those times. And again, if, if there's a time that you cannot meet during those times, just reach out to me and we'll figure out a time when we both can figure our schedule if you need uh, some extra information. Okay, um, let's just go back to the modules again. So again, here is the syllabus course. This should have been uh, something that would have been emailed to you. Um, this is the grade book information and so forth. Um, here's the course schedule. This is all the information that's already on your syllabus. So that is the getting started part. The one thing I do want to point out here is where it says questions about the course. When you click on that, there may be some questions that have already been answered in this particular uh, part. So if you have a question and it's not during the time that I'm available on office hours, well, you can take a look here and see if it's something that's already been answered. Okay, so again, make sure you take a look at that. Okay, and then below that is the course information. This is where you find your guided notebook, which is also going to be in each week. You know how to access your assignments in my stat lab. So you want to make sure that you go through all this information to make sure that you're comfortable with everything here. You have the textbook PDF version. Okay, this textbook PDF version, there's no physical text for the course. So I created these uh, PDF versions so that if you want to have something physical that you can take a look at. And then you have these pointers, which are some extra information that I want you to take a look at as well. Um, it's just extra notes that I put together. Okay, where it says technology calculator and stack crunch. Now I know that in the syllabus it says that a calculator is required. But um, if you look here, um, there's a video of how to be able to download the TI-84 to your computer. So you don't need to go ahead and purchase the calculator because you'll be able to have access to that. And then also, there's a video on Stat Crunch. Now, you don't have to purchase Stat Crunch because it is already included when you purchase the access code for my Stat Lab. So, again, you want to go ahead and navigate through all this information here. So, again, this is all in the course information. Um, again, guidelines for the Stat Talk online discussion, you know, the instructor participation and feedback and netiquette. So, again, that's the course information. It'll always be there for you to get through there. Okay, now when you take a look at week one, this is the same thing for each week. Okay, when you click on the title here, okay, this is going to give you the outline and everything that you're covering. So, for example, week one is going to say introduction to statistics and organizing and summarizing data. These are the sections that you're covering for the first week. Okay, and then when you click on that, it's going to give you uh, the information that you're covering for each section. So, this is sort of the first part of it. As you scroll down a little further, Okay, you're going to see week one outline. It's going to tell you what you should have done for week one. So you want to make sure to complete both the following assignments, the orientation assignment and introducing yourself. And then in number two, it says you can download and print from here, chapter one and chapter two, guided notebook. Okay, these are the notes that you can basically um, write in as you're going through the interactive textbook on my stat lab. And then in part three, you have your pointers. These are the notes that I give you for each section that will be great for you to have to make you understand some of the concepts a little easier to understand as you go through your notes. And then in four, it says locate the assignments on my stat lab. Make your way through the interactive reading assignments for these sections. And again, you must score 70% or higher in order to have access to the homework. So these are all the assignments that you see here that are listed that should be completed for this week. Okay, and then when you go to number four, it's going to say the following instructions are for quiz one. Here are the instructions, and there is the password. Okay, 
So again, that gives you the outline for that. Now let's go back and then take a look at what else is below there. So below there you have your orientation assignment. You also have your introduction assignment. And then if you look here, these are all the homework videos that I put in here for each assignment that you're going to see, whether it's in the interactive assignment or it's the homework assignment. They're very similar, but they're not the exact same problems. Now, I highly recommend that you access these because if, if you can't reach me and you're not available to reach me during those office hours, the student office hours, well, and you can't find a tutor, well, this is a breakdown of each assignment that I give you for that week. Okay, and then as you proceed to the following week, you're going to see the same thing. Here is the outline. Okay, and again, if you take a look at the outline, it's going to tell you here all the sections that we're covering for week two. Okay, you want to download chapter three, guided notebook, chapter four. Here are the pointers in step number two. And then in number three, you can see all the assignments that you should be completing. And then step number four, you're going to see that we have a stat talk discussion that is due. You want to make sure that you start these at the beginning of the week because you want to get everybody communicating in the class for that particular time. So again, make sure that you see that the required is, is that you have to answer at least two of the questions and you have to at least answer two reply to your peers in your class. So you should have a total of four responses for your stat talk discussion. And then in number five, you're going to see the instructions for quiz two. So this is basically what you're going to see each particular time during each week. So therefore, there is week two. And then in week three, you're going to see here, you're going to have your outline, and then you have your videos below that. And then for week four, you can see that you have your uh, week outline, and then you have another stat talk discussion with these homework videos. Okay, now let me go back to week number two. Now, if you notice here, you have project one, and that is the instructions for project one. It is due July 6th, but I open it up on week two so you understand that the instructions are available for you to be able to complete. So there's a video of how to be able to go about that. You have examples that are located there, and there's also some help as you go along down through there and some of the videos, okay? So if you have any questions on anything in this particular, uh, any of the modules, Again, please look at the questions for the course or, you know, come and uh, reach me during student office hours um, or if there's a time that you need to talk to me, make sure you do that. Okay, so welcome to the class and uh, again, uh, good luck for this semester and hopefully we'll get a chance to talk to you soon. All right, have a great day.